Hi everyone and welcome to HSMP 3200. This is Health Services Administration. Um, I wanted to put up a short quick little video um, just as a course orientation since we're doing this in an online environment. I want to give you some detail about how I have the D2L site laid out um, and I'll also have some additional um, videos that I want to strongly encourage you to go out and watch. Uh, regarding the different assignments that we have due throughout the semester to just give you a little bit more insight um, and how to complete those. Um, so we'll start out just like with every other uh, D2L class or D2L section that you have, I'm sure, starts out with the news feed. Now since this is an online class, um, the news feed is going to be my primary way to relay information to you aside from email. So I would recommend uh, logging on and checking the news feed uh, at least well, you know, two to three times a week. Um, I'll post different things on there. I try to post a weekly wrap up every Monday from the previous week um, going over you know, any, anything or any questions that we had from the last week. Um, so make sure to check out the news feed. I also link up a couple things in there um, as reminders for homework assignments or, or different assignments that we have due, exams, quizzes, things like that. Um, so again, you know, make sure to check out the news feed. Um, now, if you will, too, one other thing I want to point out. Um, if you scroll down just a little, you have a calendar right here on the right-hand side um, that will show you, um, you know, different things coming up due, um, different things uh, when drop boxes close, when quizzes are open and closing. Um, so make sure to keep an eye on your calendar, too, so that you know of any upcoming events that we have due. And we'll switch on over to content. Um, now I'll go ahead and let you know my view will look just a little bit different than yours um, since obviously I, I have instructor access and you'll have the student access. Um, so for the most part it should look uh, uh, very similar uh, with a couple of different little uh, details that may be, may be different between my view and yours. Um, now if you'll look uh, at your syllabus and kind of follow along, you'll see how I have um, the content section set up. Um, so syllabus and supplemental information, if you click on this, um, I'm going to have the, the entire syllabus listed here. So we'll go ahead and click on that and let it load. Um, please, please, please read over this. Uh, within the first week of class, it's going to have some very good information. Um, uh, regarding the class, particularly around your course outline and assignments. Um, I have these laid out of when everything's due. Um, you know, we have the discussions here in orange, a couple do uh, as well as quizzes. It's going to tell you what topics they're covering um, and what their due date is. So you can see, let's say, week uh, uh, week five, which is week of September 25th, we're going to have quiz three covering topics seven, eight, and nine, and that's going to be due Sunday at midnight. Um, so please make sure to review over the syllabus. Like I said, lots of information in here um, uh, and lots of information regarding your different assignments that are due throughout the semester. Uh, so we'll go back. Let's go back one. Now what I've done, um, since the syllabus is pretty lengthy, I've went ahead and broken out the course outline so you have easy access to it. You can go right to it and see what's due, you know, week one, August 28th, week two, September uh, 4th, and so on, so on, all the way down to the end of the semester. Um, now it's important to note that here because if you go back to the table of contents, you can see I have the contents laid out by week. So week one was role of manager and supervisor, topic one, as well as evolution of management theory, topic two. So if we click on week one, you can see I have a couple sub-modules in there, supervisors and managers and evolution of management along with their associated um, reading, you know, any external readings that I have that are supplemental to, to the textbook. Um, as well as lecture videos will be loaded here. Um, now a quick note about lecture videos. Uh, these may be different than what you're used to for online classes that have done lectures in the past. Um, I won't have 
something to say for each slide. Um, I kind of just add supplemental information as we go along. Um, so there may be some spots in, in the recording that there are no, uh, there's no volume. It seems like there's no volume, but it's because I'm not adding anything on those particular slides. Um, I'm just going through and adding a couple things here and there. Um, so you have your video here uh, of the lecture. They're always very, very short, um, you know, quick, quick views. And then you have your lecture slides here. So these two go hand in hand. And then for this particular one, there's three um, external kind of supplemental readings that you have out there. Um, now you can see again, we go all the fif all 15 weeks. Everything's going to have something in it um, that relates back to the course syllabus. So please make sure to check that out. Um, these two documents are something that I put in every class that I teach. Um, so you may you may use them, you may not, uh, but I always like to have them out there. If you've had a, a class with me before, you should be familiar with these. This one's the analysis versus summary document. So if I ever ask you to analyze something, um, this is going to give you the difference between what a true analysis is and what a true summary is. Um, so if we have an assignment like that, please make sure to view that document. And then these are just some picky rules for writing, um, you know, just kind of self-explanatory, just a couple little hints to help you out there. Going back to the content module, um, I also have uh, an assignment module. Um, that comes in right before we start into the different weeks. Um, now these are going to give you all the different assignments that we have throughout the semester and like I said I'll have different videos covering these so I won't cover them in this particular video. Um, but we have our discussion boards, um, Harvard Business Review articles, and then our case scenarios and I'll go over each one of those independently. If you go to discussions, go over to communication and discussion is where you will find our discussion boards that you'll be participating in throughout the semester. Um, I have one particularly just for questions, concerns, comments about the course. Um, just remember, you know, while you're welcome and I encourage you to post on this, if you have something that needs a quick response, please make sure to email me at uh, huntjr1 at etsu.edu. That will be the quickest way to get a hold of me. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, you're always welcome to post on this board, um, and I will uh, get back to you within a timely manner. Now, if you scroll on down, these are discussion questions throughout the semester. So there are some criteria that you have to meet. Um, so please make sure to review over that. Um, and then each topic is listed. Um, now I am asking that uh, for some of these you'll have it listed um, to please post your response by Wednesday to allow time for discussion before the week's end um, because they are due by 11.59 on Sunday of, of the week uh, that the discussion board opens. All discussion boards will open at 8 a.m. on on Monday of their assigned week and they will close at 11.59 p.m. on that Sunday. Um, so try to have your um, your posts made by Wednesday so that others have a chance to review and respond um, and that we're not waiting till the last second to get these done. We'll scroll back up. Um, I have already, uh, and I'll go over this um, when in the case scenario um, overview, um, but I have already went in ahead and assigned you for your case scenarios that you will be reviewing. Um, if you go to communication and groups, you will see what um, case scenario you have been assigned to, and these are, I have a different view than you will, you'll only see one case scenario. Um, but you do have your criteria listed here. Um, this is straight out of the syllabus um, to just give you an overview of what and how you will be completing this assignment. So please make sure to review that. Um, if we go over to evaluation, you can see we have five quizzes, a midterm and a final exam for the uh, throughout the semester that you'll be responsible for completing. Um, each one has a set due date. We'll open um, the, the week that it's uh, due. Uh, you can see it's going to open at 12 a.m. So let's take for example quiz one is going to open uh, during week two which is the week of September 4th at 12 a.m. Um, and it will close out September 10th at 11.59 p.m. So you have uh, you know, about an entire week to complete um, each one of the quizzes and the midterm exams. 
Um, so please make sure that you're aware of these due dates, particularly around the final. Um, I had to cut it just a day short because uh, of it being finals week. Um, but know that everything's open from Monday at 12 a.m. to the following Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And if you have any issues, um, please, please let me know. Um, sometimes we have some issues with Lockdown Browser, which is used uh, for this course. So please let me know if you're experiencing any issues as soon as they happen. That way we can troubleshoot them and, and work through it. Now you also uh, go to evaluation and go down to Dropbox. Um, I have a couple of Dropboxes set up for each one of your assignments that you'll be turning in. Um, you'll see your review paper for your Harvard Business Review um, with the associated rubric. Um, you'll have your interview with the healthcare manager assignment, um, your scenario analysis. And then I have this particular uh, Dropbox that I, I've created called your late assignment Dropbox. Now that is detailed out in your course syllabus if you'll um, read it under instructional methods. Uh, the late assignment Dropbox um, uh, is going to be available for submissions that miss any assigned deadline. So if you miss the deadline for your Harvard Business Review, if you let's say you don't uh, submit the assignment by October 15th at 11.59 p.m. and you try to submit it October 16th at 8 a.m., you will submit it to this late assignment Dropbox. Um, and this is for all assignments uh, for the Dropbox. Now, it is important to note here that any assignment that misses the deadline um, the Dropbox will not be reopened. So again, let's go back to our example. You missed the deadline for the Harvard Business Review Dropbox. Um, the Dropbox will not be reopened for you to submit to that particular Dropbox. You will have to submit it to the late assignment Dropbox and anything that misses the deadline is a subject to a five point deduction for every day that it's late. Um, so if you do not submit to October 17th, then you have an automatic deduction of 10 points off the assignment before I go in and start grading it. So just make sure that you're aware of that. And again, you know, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any time. I'm more than willing to, to do what I can to help you through the course. I know the nature of online courses is a little tricky, um, so I try to stay open and very communicative with you guys. Um, again, your grade, I won't click on grades since I have the instructor view here. Um, but evaluation grades will show you your grade book for the particular course. Um, and then if you go to class tools rubrics, um, this is where it may look a little different for you guys. You can see the rubrics that I'll be using to grade your assignments um, that are going to the Dropbox throughout the semester. Um, guys, that's pretty much the short and sweet of it. Um, I know that was a lot of information, a little bit of time, but you know, read your syllabus. Um, you know, if you have any questions after doing that and viewing this video, you know, feel free to stop by and see me anytime. I'm located in Lamb Hall um, in room 41A. I'll be happy to meet with you anytime if you're not local or not on campus or can't get to the office. Um, you're always welcome, always, always welcome to email me at huntjr1 at etsu.edu. You can also call my office at 439-6135. Um, and I also have Skype available if you are, you know, a distant student um, uh, and just need that face-to-face -face communication. You can Skype me anytime. Um, and my contact information, again, is here on the syllabus. We'll scroll back up. All my contact information is right here available for you guys. So my office location, like I said, Lamb Hall, room 41A, phone number 439-6135. Skype name as well as email. Guys, I'm looking forward to the semester and again if you have any questions please feel free to contact me at any time.